we got a big project. We're working on a big project. Oh, my boy Sam here. We already got the whole sleeve started. We only need this, and we have a gap in the back of his thighs because uh, he doesn't skip like they. <laughs> <laughs> I like using uh, stencil stuff, no particular reason. So I put enough on my hands to cover the whole entire thigh, even the areas that I know I'm not going to be, like, that it doesn't need it. I'm still adding it because you never know. It's better to have extra than to be over here putting the perfect stencil, but then some areas didn't stick. All right, there it is. Perfect. For this one, I use three papers. It is three papers put together. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> just tell me you want to be in the video, fool. <laughs> so I ended up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eyeball it. Uh, da, 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 da. I think. Right. Yeah. Right there should be fine. Perfect. Perfect. Look at this. Look at this stencil. It's beautiful. Sheesh. Nah, this is a beautiful stencil. I mean, the whole thing, it, it's, it's perfect. Now we're just gonna let it dry for a little bit. We're gonna eat some breakfast and get this day started. Boom. Right. So we already got about 30 minutes in and I'm using my 14 round liner with my medium tone. My mid tone is 40% black and 60% white. So that's the tone that I'm gonna be using. I am running my machine at 5.0. There you go, go. On. And the way I know that I'm packing in the details nicely and it's going in smoothly without irritating the skin is I can hear this noise. Right here. <laughs> that sounds loud. <laughs> but this is what I'm gonna be doing throughout the whole entire beer with the same needle. I'm probably gonna change my needles once I get to the, the face on the top uh, with my 27 curve mag. This is what you want to hear. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out the millimeters on my needle, on my needle depth. How many millimeters do you think that is sticking out? Uh, two? Two, maybe three tops. Yeah, all right. Maybe two to three millimeters. But if I was to put it in a little bit more, like, inside, it wouldn't sound the same. See that? It doesn't have the same noise anymore. But if I was to stick it out a little bit more, see? It's like a huge difference. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep going with the same technique.
So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching on a weekly basis. And we finally reached 50K. <laughs> Thank you guys for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And uh, what I'm going to start doing now is answering questions on a weekly basis. Uh, so if you have a question, drop a comment and I will try to answer on the following video. For this week's question is from Edward Dillon. Why such a big grip on your machine? And I get this question so much and it's honestly nothing special about it. Uh, for the longest time I was using a smaller grip so it caused a lot of tension on my hand which caused a lot of pain on my forearm, my thumb, my palm and all over my hand. So I can go deeper into this topic. I would address that on a later video. So um, yeah, uh, after doing a little bit of research, I realized that using a bigger grip helped me a lot with the pain. What's up, Frida? Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? Relax. Why are you so mad? Okay, come here, come here, come here. Ah, ah. Damn, Frida, relax. And stick around, because at the end of this video, uh, and stick around because at the end of this video, I'm going to put a small clip that has information on how to book an appointment with me. So yeah, other than that, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. If you are looking into booking an appointment with me, follow these simple steps. Send an email with the concept that you have in mind, placement, and if you're local or out of state. Include as many details as you can. The more information we have, the easier it is to book. Please understand that due to high volume of emails, we are not able to select every single inquiry and we ask for everybody to be patient. So send me your craziest ideas and I can't wait to tattoo you. Peace.